bad. Oh, man. He's an old school player, right? He's yeah, been around for a while, I'm pretty sure. For a minute. Samus. Um, oh, why can't I remember where he's from, though? Definitely Florida. It's absolutely Florida. I know 100% that for Florida, fact. yep. Um, and actually, uh, um, uh, Wisely is actually Midwest, I think he said. Oh, really? Yeah, I think Midwest. He definitely traveled here. Oh, I'm pretty okay. sure he said Midwest. Well, shout out to Wisely for coming all the way despite, you know. For sure, yeah. He actually said he came out for commentary. So the fact that he's he might make it into top 48, that's that, pretty cool. Well, that, yeah, that's We take those, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's awesome. And he was even saying that, like, you know. I don't, I don't even think this is like his main game too. So <laughs> that's you, <Yeah>. not bad. <laughs> well, we take those. Yeah, a multi man of many talents. Commentary, multiple, you know, platform fire style games. Yeah, sure. Also, he was really funny and he was a really nice guy. So you know. Hey, well, that's a win combo right there. Yeah. We take those. Awesome guy. And uh, we'll see. This is the. This could be a potentially very tough matchup for Ice Climbers, right? Samus. Yeah, right. It's one of those classic. Uh, oh, Sam, uh, Ice Climbers loses this character. Character, and uh, without the additional bonus of uh, you know. Wobbling. The, 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 the forbidden, the forbidden W word. I was about to say we, uh, cause it's banned at this event. That's yeah. what I heard, right? And I think but so. it's funny because we were talking about it too. And he said, he said I don't care because I actually. He says I play ice climbers in another uh, melee related game, uh, uh, and which you okay, can't okay. wobble. So he said I know all the handoff set, uh, setups. Anyway, he's like, so I don't even mind not. Oh, wait, Jared's playing Marth now. Oh. Yeah, he um he plays a couple. He plays Marth, Samus, and something else, I think. Um, I'm sure it's... Oh, I want to say it's Sheik or Peach. I think, yeah. Yeah, so it's I'm, one of those. My, Sheik sounds familiar, but um, definitely those are the two Bane ones I've seen. Okay. Um, Both brutal matchups for Ice Climbers anyway. Right. Well, because I know because, like, uh, I know he's played, he usually plays, like, Marth, like, when I play him, like, I play Sheik and stuff. So okay. definitely I think, like, matchup dependent kind of stuff. Right. Which is right, interesting. Right. Um, you know, Marth is good against Climbers, too. Um, so, but, you know, interesting. I don't know why Marth over Samus, but, you know, for some reason. Yeah, yeah. He feels more comfortable here. Um, again, Mark does does do a lot against climbers too, so understandable. All right, look, and there's those uh, there's those handoffs you're talking about. You know, he's getting or not handoffs, but those, uh, the he's got the desync yeah, on. Yeah, he's, he's got the attack. You know? And he was uh, he was actually talking earlier when we were uh, commentating about how uh, uh, there was uh, nice climbers we were watching, and he was saying how he was they weren't really desyncing, and you know he was saying like you know I'm I'm a big proponent of the uh, of all doing desyncs all, all that stuff, yeah. and yeah, so maybe you know something to look out for. You know, that, like, desync heavy gameplay. Yeah, it's a, the extreme tech that Ice Climbers, you know, the thing is, a lot of Ice Climbers players, at least the really good ones, um, some of them, like, don't really push the the uh, the, tech, the tech meta, right? For example, Chudat, was, he's just a very good Smash Bros. player. Right, right, right. So he right. doesn't push forward, like, the, the tech, but, you know, you have, like, Bananas, for example, um, uh, uh, Drunk Sloth, even, you know, before yeah. local. And he goes for all the, like, the advanced, like, crazy stuff that he, like, labs out and grinds. So. Right. I like to see some cool stuff from Wisely. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see uh, what kind of climber he ends up being here. Yeah. Oh, well, there's the D6 already up. There right. we go. Yeah. We're going. And that's the thing is you got to do that against Marth because Marth, man, it's like you got to keep him out with those D6. You know, your ice cube, your blocks. Yeah. Um, and that's how you get some. That's how you, you kind of – it's funny. You, like, get in by, like, keeping them out in, like, a weird way because, right, you know, right. they can just slide through and grab. But j Ride taking a quick first Ooh. knock off of – or uh, kill off of Nana. Oh, Whip. and a quick first stock. There it is. Dunk. Yeah. He definitely has some things he knows he can get away with against climbers. That's kind of unusual. He went for that side B setup, right? It's because he knows that it's really tough for climbers to get in. So he's not relying on the, the two main ways that Marth walls out climbers, which is down tilt and forward air. Right. He's going for these kind of extended, you know, or advanced-ish different things. Oh, oh, here we go. Handoff time. Oh, no. Drops it, though. Yeah, it took a little bit too long. That's unfortunate. Oh. Got a couple hits, but. Oh, gosh. He's like, yeah, hit my shield. <laughs> I I'm turned around. I'll hit you. And that's the thing. Like, climbers don't really have fast options out of shield except for back air. Back air is pretty decently fast. Right. So if their uh, back is to you, they can do that. Oh, there's that decent coming in handy. Ooh, j going with the dancing blade. It's off stage. Okay, a little, little decent ledge stuff. Nice. I like it. Speaking of that tech you were talking about. And Oh, oh. he makes it? Oh, man. Okay, that get up attack, though. We got mallets. We got some range. He might have a sword, but. Oh, uh, such an awkward position for Nana to be in. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that's the worst. You're like, Nana, bro, get over here. Get over here. <laughs> what oh, are you doing? Back. Where are you? Why are you over there? Ooh, the back throw? That was interesting. That was a mix up. Back here. Boom. Nice. Yep. I take the sock, but he's, you know, Sopo down. So, uh, down and oh, back up. Oh, God. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Why I, was he standing there? I, I don't know. Dude, this is one of those where you're like, you are low tier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, come to me. I will not move. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. just like that. He's like, whatever. What Jared knows. He can kind of wait out the options, essentially, right? Right. It's up to Wisey to make the difference. Oh, like that. That was sick. 
Oh, okay, I like that covering ledge, covering uh, all the different options there. Covering flat. Oh, oh, Nana, Nana, go save him, go save him. Oh, this is not good. Oh, yep. Gosh. I'm about to say, about to be in tipper range here. No, what is he doing? Hit Nana. <laughs> Just jabbing her like, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe he feels bad for the no, uh, no wobbling climber, you know? Uh, I, oh, <laughs> Maybe. That's a, that's a cherry tree. I don't know. It's, you know that's, a <laughs> that's, a, that's a reach. Just like Hard oh. Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Tipper. <laughs> Sounds so visceral. Just, <laughs> yeah, every time you hit those, that's just brutal. I, so I think uh, this is, does not look likely that Wise is going to make the comeback here. But yeah. I think one thing he needs to recognize um, going into the next game is that it wasn't that his setups weren't working or bad or he shouldn't have done them. It's that his timing's never quite synced up with J-Rad. You know, he needs to adjust things just minorly, you know, small Subtle spacing adjustment, things like that. Right. Because he had a lot of setups that, you know, he got in, he just, you know, didn't get a grab. He got in, he didn't wait long enough or didn't do it at the right time. And Jared just rolled away or jumped away or whatever. Stop, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you going to do? Just full dancing blade. Yeah. Sure. I got three socks. You got one. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's, already, it's already tough for climbers to move in on dancing blade, so. Right. So at that point. All right, well, decently convincing, yeah. if I do say. Um, again, uh, he, he, had, he had a little climber stuff here and there. He had some stuff he was doing, but, you know, not quite enough. Uh, Jared was able to clean up those Nana Socks really quick. Yeah, he was seemed very experienced at killing the back of climbers. Right. So. And, again, that's that thing we are talking about, right, where it's like, oh, yeah, he plays Samus and stuff, and then he pulls out the Marth. And so clearly he has some matchup experience here, you know, yeah, for, yeah, to pull yeah. out a different character. You, know, you have to have some kind of. Oh, okay, gets a grab, but okay. can't. Uh, and see, that's where, you know, that might have been his death uh, normally, but in this situation. At this tournament. Yeah. Okay. Also, why is he not quite ready for the no DI on the down throw? He, he, he knows what he's supposed to be doing there. He just, you know, he just F smash on reaction, but he's, he's not doing it because, you know, I guess he's not expecting it. And, but Jared knows it's the hardest one to react to, so that's why he's going for it, right? Right. Okay. Oh! Keeps him off stage. Can he finish it this time? Maybe. Gets back on stage. Yep. Oh, uh, or to the ledge, but. Okay, yeah, J-Red's facing him out a little bit. Trying to go for the down air. Yep. He's been doing that a lot, just sitting on the platform and then getting that down air, separating him, and then punish. Yeah. But wisely able to clean it up. That it, I mean, it, uh... The extra space kind of helping him out, actually, you know? Like, he isn't forced to immediately deal with J-Red as often, so. Right. Yeah, and, uh, I mean... Looking better already than last game. Yeah. You know, I mean, it went from a three stock down to it's evened out, at least for now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Flying away. Oh, gets the just, ice block chase Ooh, down. Oh, there we go. Oh, he, see, that's that's hard, man, because, like, people fear ice climbers. They know ice climbers as, like, I get grabbed, I die. Right, right, right. So when you get, like, three grabs and you get almost zero punish on it, and that's, like, your thing, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's rough. You're a grappler character. Right. Also, why is he not quite hitting these handoff punishes? Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like, if he if he was able to hit these handoffs, that would be a big deal. And the edge guards too. He hasn't really been getting those either. And these yeah. are the those are like, because you know you got to remember that Smash is not a game with like an actual health bar, right? Like, right. you can lose your health whenever. So you have to get these kills. It's so important. You can't yeah. just hit them over and over and over. Because if they kill you uh, faster, that's it. That's it. Yeah. But you know, why is he is ahead in terms of taking the stocks? Yeah. I mean, it is Sopo again, you know, and uh, as we've seen, J-Rad does not really uh, yeah, he's fear it. <laughs> he's indiscriminate. Yeah. Any climber he will kill. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's yeah. like, nah, it's that's fine. I'll just let you die. That's kind of a, you know, he had to kind of dip low to avoid the dare, but he couldn't dip low to make it back on stage. Right. Yeah. Okay, J-Rad space him out of it. Why is he trying to throw out and get in? He's trying to use the desyncs to... to Break in on Marth, but he also could be going for a short up fair to jump over the down tilt if J Red is, you know, kind of abusing it. Right. Yeah, I mean, if it's one of those, like, if they're not going to do anything against it, may as well keep doing it. Yeah. Don't oh, really nice. I like that, though. Okay. Well. Okay. There yeah. we go. All like, right. Game two, baby. Game what? three. We'll see. Oh, saves the Nana, but nah. Yeah. J Red's like, this is not my first time cleaning up a Nana stock. I know what I'm doing here. He just stands there jabbing. You can't wave dash through here. You can't you can't force your way in. Right. And oh, whoa, I was like, almost. he knows, he knows. He's, He's like, like, ah. Yeah. Second time now. I'm not worried. You're dead. 
So if the pace of the game you know, continues the way it has been, though, wisely, you should be able to take the stock first. But So it's up to j to kind of change that, right? Change the story going on in this game. Oh, gets the re-grab. And again, just nothing out of these grabs. Yeah, he's trying to force the punish too much, the handoff punish. Right. Maybe. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, hit him. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. There's that hit. Got to get the edge guard or something. Oh, Keep him in the corner. No. And Nana might be dead. Yep. This is going to be so rough right now. Last stock, and it's a Sobo stock yeah, we'll for see. Wisely. All right, Jared, again, tech chase, tech Echo. chase. Oh, got to side me now. And that'll oh, do it. Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, you know, Wisely's bringing it back that second game, but yeah. sometimes just, you know, not enough. You miss a oh, edge yeah. guard or a grab punish or two, and, you know, that's all it takes. He, he, I think the, the where he could, you know, make his money, you know, matter more is in those down throw setups where he just didn't do anything, you know? Right. Because